Hey everyone, welcome to Bald Guy Money. I am coming to you all today, not from my home, as I usually do, but from a real international silver powerhouse. And no, this background is not fake. This is the real deal. This country is not only the sixth largest in terms of silver mined for 2022, but its leading silver miner was the largest silver producing company in 2020. So, in the spirit of the location, in this video, we will be talking about the following topics, which are crucial for every silver stacker to understand. And they are, what are the top silver producing countries in the world? And what opportunities with the strong dollar do I see that you watching this video can take advantage of in this market? And just before I get into it, all I ask for you is to hit the subscribe button to support this channel. I have no sponsors, and as a result, I count on all of you to keep this channel going. So I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, so to set the scene for what we're going to talk about, let's first take a look at how much silver was mined in total in 2022. And here's the data, and what's important to note here is that in 2022, only 26,000 metric tons of silver was mined. In troy ounces, that would be almost 836 million, versus a total estimated demand for 2022 of about 1.1 billion troy ounces of silver. And for most of my viewers, this bit of information won't come as a surprise. But for people hearing this for the first time, I hope this data gives you a real sense of just why so many people hold and stack silver. Because with demand starting to outpace production, it's only a matter of time before we start seeing that in the price. But we're not here to talk about the price of silver today. We are talking about powerhouses of silver. And when it comes to what countries we are getting the most new silver from, it's important to note that the top 10 producers mined about 78% of total new supply in 2022. And here's the list of those countries. And as I said at the start of this video, I am in one of these powerhouse countries right now. And if you look at where I highlighted the sixth position, you'll clearly see that I am in Poland. But what may come as more of a shock for many of you is the fact that Mexico is the clear leader in silver production, followed by China and then Peru. And considering the other bit of information I gave about silver demand and the potential major price upside, and remember my 2026 price target for silver still stands at $60 per troy ounce, these are all countries that have the potential to take a more important role on the world stage as that increase in silver pr price plays out, especially Mexico, Peru, and Poland. And that leads me to the message for this video, because we are watching yet another banking crisis unfold before our very eyes, and confidence in the US dollar is being more and more shaken to its very core. We know the preparations made since the last banking crisis were wet band-aids at best. Thin and flimsy measures taken to cover up larger systemic problems in our financial systems. We've seen this new contagion has the potential to crash banks outside of the USA, and there are likely more to come. With the only real weapon any of these lawmakers have to fend it off being the printing of money. With the Federal Reserve pivoting on their tightening policy as they've already added half of the liquidity in one day about a couple weeks ago of what it took them a whole year to take out of the system. 
So with the US dollar still relatively strong on the Dixie dollar strength index, with the number being above 100, maybe it's time to start looking to some of these silver powerhouses like Poland and finding some deals on these foreign stock markets in the form of mining company stocks before they take their place as crucial suppliers of an increasingly important metal. And I think this play will not only hedge you against the US dollar, which is in a clear downward trend on this chart, but also allows you to play silver in a way that also, in many cases, generates income through a dividend. And one such stock, and let me be clear before I go into deeper detail on this, this company is not paying me. I am delivering this information to you because I think it's important. But one such stock is KGHM, which is Poland's largest metals mining and exploration company. And it was also the largest producer of silver in 2020. The stock price is a bit beaten down right now as they've struggled with rising costs, which has resulted in them missing their earnings targets in 2022. As a result, technicals and analysts have this stock pegged as a sell. Another concern of mine when it comes to this company is their high level of debt, which is 41% of their total assets held. But the company does have some bright spots. It has a low P.E. ratio at 3.55, which, in fact, it's really attractive when you compare it to other major mining companies like Rio Tinto, which has a price-to-earnings ratio of 10, or Newmont, a famous gold miner, which has a P.E. ratio of around 26. KGHM also has a rock-solid revenue stream and could be positioned well to benefit a lot from a major run-up in the price of silver. So that's the situation as I see it right now. I am not going into this particular stock just yet, but this company and other companies like it are popping up on my radar as I look for opportunities to buy stocks that have upside built into them as the US dollar starts to go down relative to the currencies these stocks are priced in. Just before I sign off, I want to inform you all that I have posted a real estate deal calculator tool on my Patreon. This is what part of it looks like. It is available with all my other tools like the silver price evaluation tool, metals purchase tracking tool, and housing versus metals analysis tool. The idea of this new tool is to help first-time investors in real estate make the same calculations I make when purchasing a rental property and start thinking about some of the key things you have to consider before buying real estate of any kind. The link to my Patreon is in the description. When you join, you also get access to my Discord and direct access to chat with me. I am active in the Discord every single day, even while I've been on vacation. With that, I wish you all a fantastic week ahead, and I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and signing off from Poland, goodbye.